What's up? What's up? It's been a while. Got a camera. It's been a while, huh? It has been a while. Um, How long of a while has it been? Not too long. Like a month. How long of a while has it been since you got this thing? <laughs> like three months. <laughs> I hope you guys can see on camera just how pristine <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> this beamer is. So beautiful. Best one you'll ever see. Cleanest two series <laughs> with a four banger. Should have bought a man. Should have bought a real man's car. <laughs> according to my brother-in-law. Uh, As you guys have known, or maybe you don't know, maybe you're new to the channel. If you're new, I'm Austin, that's Casey, that's Paisley, and that's Mason. I don't leave too Oh. This is Octane Media. Uh, Casey had a Jetta. It had a GLI that was in an unfortunate incident. And uh, he got this BMW. Now that he's got this BMW, we were sent out a camera. So in case uh, somebody decides to run and hit his car, this would have helped. <laughs> yep, yep, this will do it. So uh, today we're going to be installing said camera. This camera is from a company called Mercy Lion. I have a discount code for you in the description down below if you guys are interested. Um, yeah, we're going to jump right into it. We've done one of these on the Mark 8 GTI. This one is going to be a little bit more involved, a little bit different, but... Um, I think it's gonna be pretty close to to the same. It should be about about as easy. So we're gonna go ahead, unbox everything, get started. So in the box, just gonna open it up. Right on top, you're gonna to have your SD card and your user manual. Set that off to the side. Unbox this guy. Or rip it, that works too. That's your harness. This should be everything you need to get the camera wired up and powered on. And then we have the camera itself, which comes with a new housing that will replace the factory housing. Our camera here, along with, these are mine for the S2000. Yeah, so we got a camera, we got our user manual, micro SD card, and our housing. housing is going to sit in place with this rain sensor and feed off of that power. So Paisley is going to show us how to take this uh, cover off. Right, Paisley? Oh, no, she's going to the back seat. So you get this little pry tool. Get to focus. And you can start prying around the edges here. Um, you don't want to just rip it off. It does come with a full replacement, but, um, yeah, it'll be replacing it. So just, you don't want, you just want to pull it off and yeah. So you just pry from the middle. Probably if you want to keep it, be a little more careful than I did. All of these clips on mine snapped, but the camera replaces the cover. So it's not a huge deal. So this is what we're working with. Oh. Oh, there's, wow. <laughs> Got a shot of Mason there. And we're gonna pop this out and get the camera installed and see where we gotta run the wire. Welcome back. So this is the connector. It looks like it's gonna be pretty much plug and play. This plugs into the power supply for the rain sensor. That powers your rain sensor. And this powers your camera, which plugs in right there. So we're going to go ahead and try to slap that in there and see how she looks. Oh, So we plugged the splitter into the original power source for the rain sensor, plugged the rain sensor back in, and it left us with this to plug and power the camera. So we're going to go ahead and plug the camera in, see if we can tuck all the wires away and put the enclosure on. I didn't show you guys, but there was a cover on here. Make sure to pull that off before you install it. <laughs> Tell them that. There's another harness. Well, there, so there's a little two prong thing here. I think that's if you don't have a rain sensor and you have to actually run a power supply from 
a 12 volt source and but luckily we do have a power supply here so we don't have to go through the headliner down the a pillar it should be simple <laughs> Oh, we got power. So, looks like it is going to be simple and should hopefully just be able to go from here once we get it clipped on behind the mirror. Hey, mini me. What are you doing? Should I set this where What are you working on? To go? Like, you, yeah, you. We got to clean your nose, dude. Flying up with this part. No. Yeah, one's better. <laughs> so there she is installed. Looks pretty sleek sitting in the driver's seat. I can't really see it like if I'm sitting in my normal seating position. It tucks up there pretty nice. Um, now we're gonna go figure out how to set the software up and we'll go from there. So they give you a handy dandy user manual um if you're a real man you don't use those you have to open it to get their app it's not on the app store what so do they have an apple version yeah it says for apple and for android you just scan the right qr code for your type of phone so once you get the app installed if you're on apple you can find it in the app store if you're on android you have to scan this bottom qr code here you're gonna go to your Wi-Fi, make sure the camera's powered on. There's a power button on the left side up here. It's like uh, there somewhere. Yep, those two buttons right there, the top one is your power button. You're gonna click on the Mercy Lion and then whatever se sequence of numbers. Put in the password that it gives you in the um, user manual and connect to it. It'll disconnect you from your whatever Wi-Fi you're on if you're on Wi-Fi, and then it'll use Wi-Fi to set up the camera. So setup was pretty simple. As soon as it connected to the camera, pulled right up, it reacts pretty quick. As you can see, like my hand, very fast connection to the camera. Um, yeah, we'll mess around with this and tell you what we think about it as i drive it through the next week it's your boy casey it's no i'm just kidding it's in the intro we're done already so that camera right there that's what it looks like on the outside sorry excuse the dirty window the car is the cleanest car you've ever seen um it's i mean if you're looking at it you can tell it's a camera but if you're driving down the road like you're not going to know i have a dash cam so that's kind of the, what they're going for is like hidden. And I believe for the application, it kind of succeeds. Um, they threw in this little USB thing. So you can put your micro SD card in the back there, plug it into a computer and then download your files that way. I was looking through the app, kind of just getting familiar with it. I'm going to use it throughout the next week and we're going to add it to the end of this video. So we can just have one smooth video start to finish and you guys can get our opinion on it after about a week or so of driving. Um, yeah, so far it seems pretty good. I will say it does struggle with my VPN. I have to make sure it's shut off when I'm connecting to the actual camera. Um, luckily, we didn't have to use this. That is if you do not have a rain sensor. A lot of uh, fun there, luckily we did. So it was just that one little piece we had that you plug into the rain sensor. It splits the power to go to the rain sensor into the camera, plug and play, and you'll be done super quick we were seriously in there for like 20 minutes once we knew what we were doing so yeah i will uh drive this next week with it experiment with it download a couple clips maybe if i have any ex crazy experiences we'll throw that in there too so hopefully not hopefully it's calm but it's what it's there for if we need it right so we'll get back to you at the end of this video and let you know what we think what's up guys it has been a week and i'm gonna tell you what i think about the camera so far, I really like it. It's, I've never had a dash cam before, so 
the security that it offers is kind of nice and it will auto record if it fills a certain amount of G's. Like there's like, if it's hard braking, hard cornering, or obviously if something hits you or you hit something, it'll lock it on the app. And I, I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna screen, screen record here for you. Um, so this is what you see when you open up the app. You have to stop the recording so you can go look through your um, files. So this is like, it's constant recording. It'll save like, I think it's a couple days worth of footage. Let's see, the last that we've got saved that's not locked is the sixth. And it is the ninth. So it saves about three days worth of footage before it deletes it unless it's locked if it's locked it won't delete it because that's an event that has occurred so like if you get in an accident and you forget to get the footage or whatever like you're not going to lose it if you don't get it within the first three days as far as settings go um where are we at oh, so you go back to the home page here you, I set my G sensor to high just because I like to do canyon drives and I drive a little more aggressively sometimes. <laughs> no, but and it's still registered a couple events, but other than that, there's not a really whole lot you can do. Um, you can, I mean, you can change how long your video records for. I probably would, I. I like the three minutes because then it kind of gives you a bigger picture of what you were doing before and after something happened. Um, but as far as like settings, you can't really do a whole lot, which is fine because the camera honestly does it for you and you don't really have to think about it. That's what I kind of like about it. It just works in the background and does its own thing. Um, you can take pictures with it and that'll lock in like if you're hit there's a there's two buttons the top button is a power button the bottom button is a is a snap button hopefully you guys can see that right now it's flashing red because i'm in it it's not recording it flashes blue when it's live recording but so far i would say i really like it and i don't plan on getting rid of it and i i would use this I would keep this in my car and potentially get them in future cars because honestly it wasn't hard to install it was quick easy straight to the point this one was plug and play because i had a rain sensor but yeah if you guys are in the market honestly doesn't seem like a bad bad camera quality's good i will throw in just a random clip from the day random clip from the night and so you can kind of see the quality of the camera but yeah Thanks for watching guys and I hope you uh <laughs> and I hope you guys uh decide to go look check these guys out if you guys are in the market for a dash cam. <laughs> Sorry, I totally drew a blank right there. <laughs> but all right, we'll see you guys on the next video.